Hey guys, it's Heather. It's been a minute since I've been on here, um, but I thought I'd pick up the camera and tell you what's going on today. So I think the last video I did was over a month ago. Um, I did you know, the trying on the dresses, which by the way, I did send back that Bowden dress and all the, all the new dresses that I got in, except for the one, I know a lot of you didn't like it, but the one that I said would be good for like the 4th of July or whatever. I, I really liked the dress. I don't know why. Um, and then I did a bunch of donations. I did put some stuff on my Poshmark. Um, but anyway, uh, it's been kind of a very busy last couple of weeks. Um, we, the store manager that we had that worked for us, um, we had to have a kind of disciplinary meeting with him and thing that he just decided that he couldn't take the criticism. So he left and that's fine. So I've been working a little bit more and I've got some new trainees in there. <clears throat> so been, been working a whole lot more. Um, today is Friday. It's been a kind of a crazy morning. Uh, we own some rental properties and we had some issues with one of them and we've decided we're going to sell the house. So yesterday and this morning we've been dealing with some of that stuff and today is my, um, so let me go back. Um, since, so I've been on doing some weight loss and when I lose weight, I lose a lot of it from my face. My face kind of gets sunken in, my neck gets saggier and I've already got this area here on my neck that I don't like. So I made an appointment with a plastic surgeon um, and he, when I saw him the other day, he was like, no, he says, you don't have any, you know, he says, we, if you want me to do it, I'll do it. He says, but it's going to be a waste of money. Yes, it'll look what you want to look like. He says, but you're talking five years and there's not enough there to really do anything to it. I'm not liking this part of my face here and then my neck. So he said that um, there's some facial treatments that he wants me to try. And so long story short, Today is my first, I think it's called Morpheus 8, I'm um, doing it on my face and my neck. Um, and I'm actually talking to them about the tops of my hands too, so I'm going to see what they say. Um, there'll be three sessions of this, I've never done this before, my appointment is in 20 minutes. And i got to get in there and get start getting numbed up and all of that. So um, just, you know, partly this is, you, know, you can see this saggy stuff here that I don't like and the jowl area. And I've got some texture on the sides of my face I don't really like. So. Um, that's what we're going to work on. That probably be three sessions, roughly four to five weeks apart. But I am going to be getting some filler as well. Um, like I said, I lose volume in my face. You know, I get on the scale, the scale looks better. And then I look in the mirror and I'm like, can you come from another place of my body and not just from my face? So um, that's where I'm headed in this morning. And I thought maybe if I just did like a little this little loose area I don't like and it's supposed to tighten up a little bit and you know, I guess I'm going to look pretty sunburnt. There's a possibility of some bruising and then over the weekend I'm going to be kind of rough right now. I only have the only thing I have on my face right now is my skincare and some SPF and well, I've got I did a little bit of my eyebrows and I have some mascara on because I had to go in public but I don't leave the house with that SPF. So um, hopefully if I'm <clears throat> hopefully when I'm done I'll remember to pick up the camera and show you what it looks like directly after. I'm not going to bring my camera in. Um, just because I know it's going to be super hot and it's supposed to be really rough this weekend. I'm just going to be aquaphor all over my face. And then Monday I can wear, I have to go back to work. So I'll be able to wear makeup on Monday and probably a lot of concealer is what I'm thinking. So yeah, that's what's going on today. Um, everything else has been going, you know, it's been busy working and uh, every Tuesday I spend time with my granddaughter. I pick her up from school. I take her to a jazz class I signed her up for and then we have dinner together and then she goes to a musical theater class and then her dad picks her up from there. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what's been going on and I'll see you guys whenever I'm done with this appointment. Well, I'm done. Oh my goodness. I'm really, really red. I feel like I've had a sunburn and it looks like I have a sunburn and my hair's all, you know, cause you've been having this big old tight thing on top of your head. Um, I was originally going to use Pronox, um, to help relax me, but I ended up not using it. Didn't need it. The only areas that were really tender were right around the orbital bone here and then right up at the top of my scalp. The rest of it, I mean, you could certain areas around my cheekbones, it could feel a little bit, but I didn't even feel my neck. The neck was nothing. And I went ahead and had them do the tops of my hands and they had a package deal at the end. So if you pay for all three sessions right up front, I saved almost a thousand dollars. So 
um, yeah, so I've got the two more booked. I'm, I'm going to have to wait five weeks for this next one because Adam's going to be out of town and I need to work that week. So normally they say four to six weeks. So I'm going to do five weeks from today and then four weeks from then I'll be my last one. Next Friday I go in and you see this, this is what I want to get rid of. Um, I'm having my filler done. So um, yeah, that it was actually nowhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be. My lips are still a little bit numb from the numbing cream that she put on, but the rest of my face is feeling just kind of tight and hot right now. I can't put anything on my skin for about six hours. So yeah, I'm gonna head home and just relax. And yeah, that was, that was nothing. That was nothing. Well, good Saturday morning. Lighting's not great where I'm sitting. Yesterday when I got home, I just felt very tired. My face, as you saw, was beet red. It was beet red all day long. Um, felt very hot and tight. Last night I gently cleansed my face and I put on this gel cream that they asked me to put on last night and that's what I did. And I went to sleep. I woke up this morning, I'm still a little red and I'm really splotchy. You can see how splotchy I am. And I'm swollen. All of this area is like super swollen. Um, I don't have an ice roller yet. I will have one this evening, it has been ordered. So my husband went downstairs and grabbed a, a block of, we have those frozen cream corns and I rolled that on my face this morning. And a little while ago, I took a shower. I have a little bit of eye makeup on, but I can't put any sunscreen on, so I don't really want to be outside. And it's a gorgeous day. So everything just feel a little full, I guess. And this area is quite swollen. So the ice roller, I probably won't be able to use it till tomorrow because says delivery today between 5 and 10 p.m. As soon as I get it, I'm going to wash it, stick it in the freezer. Then tomorrow morning, I'll be able to roll really well. And since I have several other procedures coming up, it'll be good to have that. Now, I did take I do take Arnica tablets prior to, um, although I had scheduled this for next week, and they ended up calling me earlier and asking me to come in that Friday rather than the Tuesday. So I didn't get as many. I usually take Arnica tablets for about a week prior to any type of a procedure. And I didn't get to do that this time, so just for a couple of days. So I'm gonna continue to take it because that's supposed to help with bruising and swelling. I think I might have a little bruising happening here. And this is actually part of the reason where underneath my cheekbones get really sunken in when I lose weight. It all seems to come from my face so that it just gets older looking. So um, I guess the swelling has kind of helped. These little wrinkles are not quite so deep right now simply because it's swollen down here. But um, this is, should only last for a couple of days, and I think by tomorrow, or definitely by Monday, I can wear makeup. So today I didn't put anything on my face except for the gel that they told me and then my face cream. So it feels better, it feels more moisturized and not quite so tight, but it does feel full. And I wonder if just laying down all night long kind of added to that, so do wish I had ordered an ice roller beforehand. But yeah, this is not quite 24 hours. And yeah, not too bad. I mean, you can see it's, it's pretty splotchy. So don't really plan on going anywhere today. Um, my, one of my daughters, my stepdaughter is coming up to visit with her boyfriend this evening. So we'll probably just hang out here, eat here at the house and just kind of take it easy. What I did find yesterday is even though I didn't really do anything, it's quite a bit of trauma to your face. So when I got home and the adrenaline kind of left my body, I was really tired. I was just, I mean, I didn't fall asleep, but I probably could have, but I just kind of relaxed and just spent the day kind of doing nothing afterwards. So today I feel better in that sense. Just, it's quite swollen. So yeah, that's not quite 24 hours. So maybe I'll check in a little later this evening and see if any of the swelling is going down. I don't think so. I mean, they they decided to wait a week for my injections, my filler, so that this, this, there would be no swelling by the time I go in for my injections. So, yeah, you can see how white and red that area is. I've got quite a few areas that are like that. Anyway, I guess it's just par for the course. Hey guys, it is day three. Um, I did not get a chance to film anymore on Sunday. I had a family coming over was my best friend's birthday and we had a bunch of people over and by the time I even thought about it I it was too late to pick up the camera. Uh, today is Monday September 4th and I did do full face of makeup today. I just I still did um, the I have the Clinique Moisture Surge Sheer Tint Hydrator Broad Spectrum this is what I used on my face today and then I powdered it down. Um, I did work today it is 
5 11 p.m um, i'm actually still supposed to be at work but adam came up there and let me go home um it was a very busy day for a labor day so happy labor day and i'm glad that we opened the store but yeah so um today the only thing i feel is my face has a little bit of a roughness to it it's not as smooth as it normally is and this makeup was done at 8 a.m this morning <clears throat> so i it's whatever is worn off is worn off i had lip balm on my lips and that's it so it's just a little bit rough to the touch is all and that's supposed to go away the swelling has gone down i still i think i have a little right in here but um yeah so i mean to me this was no biggie and i know that the next time i go in it'll be the same depth but they'll turn up the rf of it and that's the end of this month i'll do it again so yeah i i think this was a very easy transition you know i'm probably going to do a little bit of a peeling type thing they did tell me not to do any tretinoin for like five days they said around today i could test it on a spot to see if it stings so i don't know what i'll do but um, I do go in this Friday for my fillers, and I don't know exactly what I'm going to let my girl do what she thinks needs to be done. And I usually do bruise, so I've been taking Arnica tablets, and I'll take Arnica serum with me when I'm done. Um, so I'm hoping that that will fill in these big indentions. I mean, I have a pretty prominent cheekbone, and the more weight I lose, the more weight I lose for my face. So we'll see how all this works. Maybe by Christmas, things will be a little tighter in here. And, you know, since he didn't want to do a, a neck lift on me, it was, I was going to do a lower face lift with a, of a neck lift. And he's like, Heather, I'll do it if you want me to. I'm sorry, I'm in front of the window and the blinds are there. That's why I look all kind of crazy if I go. Yeah, there's no way I can do it. The lighting is not great right now. Let's see if I move back. Who knows? But yeah, he said he would do it if I wanted him to, but he just didn't think that it was a, a time to do it. He's like, you know, let's see, let's try a few other things first. I think you're going to get great results from that. It's a lot less downtime. You know, I'm not having scars and being cut on. And he's like, if you want to do it again in five and 10 years, we'll talk about it then. It's just not prominent enough for him to really think that it was worth the cost and the healing time for it so and i appreciate that i love him to death i think that he's you know very honest and i i really appreciate a doctor who is willing to say you know let's let's go to a spa you know i you know what i mean it's just it's really refreshing to a doctor tell you what you the the, the truth i guess i don't know guys it's, the blinds are making all this crazy lines on me i am waiting for my so I think I told you guys a while back that I was going to be getting a new vanity. I had a mirrored vanity and the mirror fell and shattered my vanity. And um, I ordered another one from Wayfair. And I, the day that it came, as they, and I paid for the white glove delivery, as they were driving it up, carrying it up to my front door, I could hear it sounded like it was broken. And I kept saying, guys, I think this is broken. And there was a language barrier. And I kept saying, no, 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 no. It's not broken. It's not broken. And I thought, well, maybe it's just like the bolts and stuff rattling around inside the box. And they brought everything in. And before they were, I let them open the boxes in here because I truly thought it was broken. I got my knife. I opened the box and saw the glass shards falling down and it was shattered to pieces. And I was very unhappy about that because I waited for it. I paid for white glove delivery. They brought it in an enterprise delivery truck or rental truck and I just, I, did, I can just see that it was probably rolling all over the back. It wasn't on a pallet or anything. And I spent $1,800 on it. So I was not happy. I called Wayfair and said, just give me a refund. They said, do you want us to send you out another one? I was like, no, I don't trust that it'll get here undamaged. So I ordered something from Pottery Barn, August 7th. And it's finally getting delivered on this Wednesday. So I'm excited about it coming and I can finally get, I have a little vanity here, um, but it's one I've had for a very, very long time. It's tiny, it's old. Um, it has a great story behind it, so I will never get rid of it, but it's not, a, it's not functional for what I need. So I'm sitting at this, I'm not even gonna show you because I'm actually kind of embarrassed by the, the condition of it. It's very cluttery and it's much smaller than the old one was. So everything's kind of piled on top. And so that's this Wednesday, I will be at work. So Adam's gonna have to bring that in. But once it finally comes, I'll show you. And once I get it set up, I'm hoping that it works well. We are gonna have to, I bought the hutch that goes with it. It has a mirror, but I don't think that mirror is, because it doesn't light up and my room's kind of dark. So I'm going to, I'm, I've ordered a couple of light up mirrors off of Amazon 
One was supposed to be delivered today, and of course now it says where it's running late, and now it's either tomorrow or Wednesday. So once I get everything set up and I'm happy with it, because we're gonna have to take that mirror off and I don't know. I'm letting my husband kind of lead this a little bit. I picked out the table and it's a it's a lighter color than the rest of my furniture in my in my bedroom. Eventually my entire bedroom furniture will be changed out to a lighter color, but I'm hoping that this is like anyway, anyway. That's it guys. Um, I'm gonna let gonna finish with this little, you know, the RF micro needling, otherwise known as Morpheus 8. I'm kind of excited about the next one. I do see, even in here, I feel like this is already a little bit less in here. So I'm excited to see after the third one. She said you really won't see much of a difference after the first one. The second one, you'll start so noticing a little bit of a difference, but the third one is the Mac Daddy. And so maybe by Thanksgiving, I'll have exactly what I'm looking for, hopefully. And there might be a peel in the future. I'm just gonna start, you know, the, I've done, I bought all the, I can't tell you how much money I've spent in serums and potions and creams and, lo and lotions and devices and, and I like some of them. I do have some that I really think are effective. But you know, you watch all these YouTube videos and stuff and you're like, oh, it worked for her, so it must work for me. Or you get caught up in a YouTube or I'm like a, an ad on Facebook or Instagram and they've got a 20 year old girl rubbing cream on her neck saying it gets rid of all neck wrinkles and crepiness and she never had it to begin with. And it's you, you want that to work. So you spend the money and you do it and you do it and you do it and you see no difference whatsoever. And it's just a glorified lotion. And it might have some skincare benefits in it, but I don't think anything really on the topical cream solution is going to solve that. And I do try to put the tretinoin on my neck, but my neck turns red when I do it. So maybe I just need to do a retinoid there. But you know, I just you kind of get tired of just spending all the money and buying all the tools. I have a couple of tools I like. I do like red mount the red light masks for my face and for my neck. I need to get back into doing it every single day before I was able to do it every morning. And that was like the time that I had to do it. I don't have that time in the morning anymore. I'm rushing off to work. So I don't have that 15 minutes or so to really sit and focus on that. So I need to maybe do it after, cause I shower at night cause I like to keep my bed clean. Um, maybe after I get out of the shower at night, just take it to my bed and lay there and let that, just make it into my evening routine. So yeah, I just, you know, I don't wanna spend, honestly, I think back about how much money I've spent on lotions and potions and, and tools, and I could have had a complete like full body lift at this point if I had just spent the money on that. But I am going to start doing more spa treatments, not just at home treatments. I'm going to continue doing a lot of things that I already do here at the house, but I am going to start going in and utilizing, I have several really nice med medi spas in my area. They don't all offer the same things. So I'm kind of going to bounce around between them to find, you know, my, my plastic surgeon said the Morpheus 8 was what he wanted me to start with. And then I will probably at some point, maybe the spring of next year, I'll do the platelet rich plasma microneedling. And I'm thinking about doing a chemical peel. So I'm just gonna start, I'm 50, you know? And I mean, I'm gonna start going in and having these procedures done. I'm spending the money on, on home devices and stuff. I might as well put it in a spa where there's actually spa quality. You know, you're, you're gonna get much more bang for your buck when you go in. Yes, you're gonna spend, it's not cheap. It is definitely not cheap. I did buy the package for the Morpheus 8. If you buy, if you pay for all three of them up front, then you get like an $800 discount, which I'll take it, you know? So, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna start focusing on, you know, maybe twice a year or something, finding something that I wanna do. And I mean, I'll continue with the Botox. I will never be without the Botox. I haven't had filler in my face in, seven or eight years. Um, again, when I lose weight, it's, I get a lot of these sunken in areas here and then that makes the, everything kind of lay forward. So I do need to pull this back up a little bit and the filler should help with that. But the lady who did it seven or eight years ago, it's not a spa I go to anymore. She wouldn't, you know, they put this really thick stuff in your face and then they have to kind of mold it in and move it to where they want it to be. She pushed my face so hard. She manipulated my face so hard that I was bruised for a month. 
I was bruised for a month. And you got to cover all of that. You look horrific for a month. And if this only lasts, you know, a year to 18 months, you're losing a month already with having been covered in bruises. So, you know, she, I had talked to my girl and she was like, you're going to be more careful. I'm not, not going to say I'm not going to bruise, but I'm hoping it's not to the degree that it was years ago. I've just been terrified of filler ever since then. So every time she mentions it, I'm like, no, I don't want to do it. But she's really good. Uh, the girl who does all my Botox and she's the main injector there, she actually trains a everybody in this area, you know, and I think in the Atlanta area. So she's got years and years of experience and I can tell by her face and I know how old she is that she does a really good job and, you know, she's trained people to do it. She doesn't do it to herself, but you know, she knows what she's doing. So I'm hoping that this Friday kind of gives me a little bit more of the fullness that I need up in here. I wish they could just take the fat from my butt and my thighs and shove it back up inside of here. But yeah, I don't think that's going to be done at a Medi Spa. And that's probably going to cost a whole lot more money, that, more money than my uh, injections and stuff. So yeah, I mean, I know some people just say grow old naturally, embrace the wrinkles and all of that. But, you know, and then other people are, you know, they, they go crazy and do, you know, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars every year of plastic surgery and whatever. I'm somewhere in the middle. I'd like to keep things as youthful as possible, as long as possible. And with most of that being things that I do on my own, but I'm willing to go let do the things that... You know, I'm, I'm just one of those people. I'm just going to do it. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. I'm going to end this here. And I hope you guys have a very happy day. And I'll see you soon. Bye.